it's my sincere hope that a few minutes into this video, there's gonna be none of this. No more snow, and I'm not gonna be wearing a puffer jacket. I mean, it's just as terrible, hideous. Can, can we get anything else in here? Yeah. You're a master packer. Yeah, well. Nice job. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's, we need a U-Haul for the next trip. I'm gonna get the most important package. So there's so much stuff, he can't jump up in the car. I gotta lift him up. Ready for your big adventure? We made him a special high seat. You know, the problem with these, uh, this particular vehicle, they have bucket seats in the back. There goes 90 pounds. There you go, look at that comfy spot. <laughs> Nice. Can you sit? Oh, he's going to love the high view. Oh my god. <laughs> All righty. Let's uh There we go. Let's lock it up and Next stop get out sunshine. Of here. That's right. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get to the boat? Besides have a drink? Yeah, besides, you know, besides that. What's the first job? Oh, what is the first job? I'm going to make sure everything works. She's been out of the water for nine months. That's never happened before. Yeah. I can't believe we're in the car moving. We've been out of the water for nine months. That's never happened. Before. This is crazy that nine months almost to the week since we were escaping through the pandemic under much different circumstances, but similar in a lot of ways. We just know what's going on now. We had no idea what was going on when everything was first breaking back in February and March. It's quiet here. Really quiet. It's kind of sad. Actually, it's very sad. We're making Savannah today. Something that takes three weeks on the boat. Uh, should take us about 13 hours and change. So, we're off. Go Bucks! Buckeyes! Woo! Road trip Buckeyes! Thank you, Smiths. Love ya. Love ya. So what's it been about 13 and a half hours or so, a little more, with a couple of stops. And we're just outside of Savannah. This is, our, this is weird, right? Because it's our first time in a hotel since the pandemic. Anyway, we chose to stay here because, look, it's sealed. We didn't even have to go to the... <laughs> And they left us cleaning supplies, yeah. which is pretty awesome. Oh. Wow, it works. Just like that. And we got these. And it sounds like the toilet's running. Perfect. Well, we crashed hard for the night and hit the road first thing in the morning with only seven hours to go to reach Olo. I think he's actually sleeping. <laughs> we are rolling over St. Mary's River, which is, I believe, the border between Georgia and Florida. There we are, everybody. Welcome to Florida. Thank you, Florida welcomed us. Thank you, Florida. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Too long. So after around 1,100 miles of traveling on I-95 from essentially, I guess it was New Jersey when we hopped on I-95, we're off and we're heading towards the middle of Florida. And Tim, you'd ask me if I was excited before. Yes, I did. And I wasn't really super excited because there's so much stuff going on. But once we got off this exit, I started to feel a tinge of excitement. Turn. Release the hounds. All right. Hold on now. Jesus, I'm a hairball. Why don't you drop your mask so they can see that smile on your face? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm smiling now. 
1,361 miles later, we've arrived. Oh, and I'm wearing a t-shirt. That was the thing, right? That's right. I said I had to have a t-shirt on by the time we arrived. So there, there's Olo. Oh. We haven't seen Olo in nine months. And uh, she's floating again. There she is. First things first. She hasn't eaten or had anything to drink all day. All right. Let's go see our boat. I cannot believe we are back. Is that your boat? Where's your boat? My heart actually just started beating a little faster. Oh. I'm not kidding. I just got excited. Really excited. So happy. <laughs> I did. Oh my God. I did. I'm not kissing the boat. Why? I'm not. Kiss your boat. I'll kiss my dog. Come here. Let me kiss you. Let me give you the There. It's good to be home. You want to get on your home? Let's go. You want to get on? Come on. Feels good. Ah, and the air conditioning is on and working. Let's go inside. Good on them. Hey, it smells like a new boat. Wait a minute, we did a good job. <laughs> now comes the fun part. So why is this car so full? <laughs> well, you know, when we left here, this very spot, almost exactly nine months ago, we didn't know how long we'd be gone. In fact, if you had told us it was gonna be nine months, we would have had no idea. So we took a lot of stuff off the boat, and we're also just bringing stuff from our house, and we did have room for some new art. Not gonna reveal it now. Very excited about an original piece that we're gonna have, so. All right. Let's so, get to work. Let's get to work. Well, it's been a mad push. Busy, busy, stressful. What are you doing? Uh. We're starting out with a classic margarita because I just need to get to work. Uh, I had to make a 40-minute um, detour <laughs> because we didn't have ice. And we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Beautiful spot in the middle of nowhere. And we're not starting out our first night without a little ice. And uh, so I'm back and I'm making us a classic margarita. You want to just run real quick? You got the Espelon tequila. I got Espelon. I'm using the Nelly's. Key West lime juice, um, uh, the gala, yes, and then um, the marhaba, nice agave, and uh, Jasper's drinking water, and there is a bell that will be involved. You, if you've ever been with us before, you'll know that <laughs> the beginning of every cocktail hour starts with a bell. So and this is a cocktail nine months in the. And you know waiting. what? And I think we're gonna ring the bell this time for all those folks who are still at home are still following the rules, are still trying to get through this pandemic. We're gonna ring the bell for you because we feel really fortunate to be here doing what we're doing right now. Uh, we're a little nervous, uh, but we are being very cautious. Um, so this this bell goes out to you guys. Um, hang tight and you'll be on an adventure of your own soon enough. Did you show everyone the chaos? No, I'm, there's only so much chaos I'm willing to show. I know. You know, I like to keep a nice neat boat. So cheers. Cheers. Cheers to everybody. Cheers to everyone. All right. Thanks for coming along. Olo. Olo. You okay that I'm debuting the new hat? Our 2021 I suppose Olo I'm hat? Okay. <laughs> this may be the best hat yet that you've designed. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I so, aimed it, please. So now several hours since we arrived, we're, we're tapped. I mean, it was a long drive and it was great and exciting. And we're, we're really happy to be on board. And it's a beautiful evening here in LaBelle slash Moorhaven. Thank you so much for following along and being a part of this adventure. We ring the bell and we celebrate our safe arrival. Yes. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers Captain. Captain is busy at the helm. <laughs> Doing what? Well, we haven't fired up the engines yet, so I'm gonna do that now. The engines obviously were started when the boat was splashed. Everything was run up to temperature. We had just had a major fluid change before the boat got put away, and they've checked the dipsticks, but I've already gone around, checked everything again. We're gonna start it so we can lay our own eyes on it. We had a sensor go bad on us for our transmission temperature, but that was fixed. 
Jose at River Forest was awesome. Fits. So, I'm gonna fire them up one at a time. Port engine fired up well. I'm gonna try the starboard now. No smoke, too. And he said when they uh, fired the engines after sitting for nine months, fired right up. It's smokeless. Always a good feeling. And it all just comes back online right away. I'm going to rev the engines a little bit. And to do that, we go to emergency control. Can't do it on this for some reason, even though you think you should be able to idle it out. So I can do that and just raise the port throttle a little bit. Of course, I threw a code. Backup. Oh, because I'm on the backup panel. Good. That's a happy code. Did what it's supposed to do. Everything feels good. Nice to be back online. Now I'm going to go put eyes in the engine room and hope nothing's leaking. I don't expect it will be. And now to briefly bump the gears to make sure the transmissions engage properly. Hello, Captain. I am pleased. <laughs> it's just nice when everything works as it should. The you gotta check pleased, every, the crew's pleased. You gotta check everything over, right? Yep. So Jasper thinks we're getting underway. He's he's all set to go up top. Go ahead, you go up top. Go up top. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere yet. Bummer. It looks excited though. River Forest Yachting Center in La Belle, Florida is an impressive, spotless facility with climate-controlled, hurricane-rated indoor storage. And in fact, there's so much demand, they were building a fourth storage shed while we were there. We also love how much grass there is for Jasper to enjoy. Polishing our windows. They did a beautiful job detailing Olo. I hope I don't kill myself on this hose. They really did a nice job. Uh, you agree with that. You yeah, thought it was beautiful. terrific. But you know, we pulled off the sunshade off the, the glass. It's uh, supposed to be pretty cold in the morning when we leave, so it's probably going to be running from the inside time, and we want to have nice clean glass. And then I have to go do the clears. So I'll go up there, and I will get on the hard top to reach down to polish them. My Novus number one is what I will use. You love good clears. cleaning products. I love good cleaning products and microfiber towels. Okay. Two of my favorite things in life. So when we were on our road trip, we stopped in Fort Pierce and you came out of the gas station. Impulse purchase. And the <laughs> And there was a, I got the alert on the Amex that we had a $70 charge, and I was very curious what you got. I'm a sucker for a cheap hat. I mean, relatively cheap. I mean, I, we got four hats because I figured we needed uh, some new hats for our new adventure. We didn't try any of them on. I got two for AJ, <laughs> two for myself. The, who gets that? Because I like that. Let's call it the Havana. See, I want that. Yeah, I don't think these look good on me. I got a big head, so. Um, but it fits me, but I think this is more for you. How about Jasper? Jasper? I don't know what to call this. I, you know, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like this hat a lot. I think this is for me. I'm a country boy. For me, it's the perfect on-screen hat because you don't really have to see my face because you know I'm pretty camera shy. The next, we have what I call the, the Sean Flynn. Uh, and this is the Sean Flynn in tan. Um, nobody can pull off this hat as good as Sean Flynn. No, pull it off. Let's see. You did a pretty good job. I'm still not Sean Flynn. What do you think? That's a smart hat on you. Is it pretty cool? It actually is pretty great. Is it pretty cool? Oh, and I thought if I get one, you got to have one. So I got the Sean Flynn in um, straw color as well. I like the one you have. Though. So let <laughs> you mean for yourself or for, yes, me? for me? Well, that's too bad. I get to choose. How's that one? Nice. Thank you for 
our impulse purchase segment and uh, thank you Fort Pierce Ro Roadside Rest Stop. <laughs> if you spy us in one of these hats, send us a text and maybe we'll send you a hat. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. <laughs> What's the plan, Captain? So we're going to shove off in the morning and we're going to head to Fort Myers and we're going to be sort of backtracking our run here, but it's not that long a ride. Um, I think it's about 35 nautical miles, but we have two locks to go through and a bridge to open. So I'm guessing, I don't know, four and a half hours, but we're all set. I'll talk more about this later, but you know what I'm very excited about. Yeah. Very excited. Yes. Well, I mean, come on. He's got his Look at that. He's got his new big I got my new toy. Big TV. <laughs> big screen TV. Right? All right, back to work. All right, back to work. I have stuff to do too, believe it or not. What have you done while I was busy checking the engine rooms? <laughs> I made dinner. So we had some um, bluefin tuna that I wanted to use. Oh my God. We kind of needed a little bit of a break from kind of the, we've been kind of eating just a little of this, a little of that the, since we got here on the boat. So um, it's not perfect. It's not my best. It's sushi. sushi but you made it. We it's some, beautiful. We got spicy Stop tuna. Stop talking. That's fantastic. Spicy tuna. We have um, a veggie roll and we have a Philly roll with some smoked salmon. So, I am so excited um, about that. That's, wow. That's dinner. What's in that glass? Oh, that's a Manhattan. <laughs> that's a thing of beauty right there. That is a thing of beauty right there. Once we were settled in and all systems were checked out and good to go, we had the green light to continue our adventure and head towards Florida's Gulf Coast and ultimately the Florida Keys. But that's all happening in our next video. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a moment of the adventures of Olo.